Hey everyone, this is Blenderman911 and this is part 6 and the last part on how to make a rounded life bar for your Blender game. In this part we're going to add our life display as an overlay scene to our character scene. First thing you need to do is hit space, add camera, now hit zero on the numpad to go into camera view, and hit G and Z to grab the camera up. Now go to your character scene. For this tutorial I made a new scene. Select your camera and in the logics tab add a sensor controller actuator. Now change the actuator to scene. Add overlay scene and put in the name of your scene with your health display. Put in the name of your scene with your life display minus HUD. With your mouse over this region, hit control down and it will minimize everything else. Now hit zero on the numpad and P to play. And as you can see, our life display is right here, except it's in the middle of our screen. So we're going to move it to the bottom left corner. To move it to the bottom left corner, go back to your HUD, grab your camera, and now move it to the right so that your character or not the character so that your life display is on the bottom left now if you want it smaller or bigger hit G and Z and either zoom out or zoom in to make it smaller or bigger on the character scene so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and place it on the bottom left corner. Now go back to your character scene and now we have our life display. It's a bit big right here but whatever I'm just gonna leave it like this so you can see it better. Alright now I'm, I'm gonna quickly show you how to take away life or add life when you hit an enemy. For the enemy, I'm just going to make a sphere because I don't want to make a whole enemy thing. So hit space, add mesh, UV sphere. I'm going to change these to 8. When we hit the sphere, it's going to take life away. Scale it down and I'm going to set it smooth. Now go to the logics tab and add a property. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it enemy. Go to your character and either select your collision box or your character, whatever is going to be hitting this. For me, it's the collision box. Add a sensor controller actuator and change this one from always to collision. Put in the property of the sphere, which is enemy. Now change this to message. And in the subject, I'm going to put take 15 life. Because when we hit this, it's going to take 15 life. So control C to copy that. Now go back to your HUD. Select your life plane. Add a sensor controller actuator. Connect them up and change it to message control V to paste that in take 15 life and change this one to property add property name is life value negative 15 so when our character hits the sphere it will send a message saying take 15 life which tells it to take a value of 15 away from property life now go back to your scene hit zero uh, one more thing we want the sphere to disappear once we hit it so add a sensor controller actuator also make this ghost so that our character doesn't bounce off it change this from always to collision put in the property of whatever is going to be hitting it for me it's a collision box and the property is player one 
So I put in that property, player one, and change it to edit object, end object. All right, now go into camera view. Now, if I walk over it, you'll see that it takes 15 life away and my percentage on my life also goes down 15. So I'm just gonna shift D to copy this. Now each time that I hit one of these, it will take 15 life away. All right, now to add life, it's basically the same thing. I'm gonna copy this one and bring it over here. This one's gonna add life. Change the property. I'm gonna name this property. Uh, I'm just gonna name it life one. Go to your collision box or whatever is gonna be hitting it. Add a sensor controller and actuator. Change it to collision. Same thing, put in the property of that, which is life one. Change it to message, subject. I'm gonna put in give 15 life. Go back to your HUD, to your life plane. Basically the same thing, just with different names. Message give 15 life and property add property name is life value 15 now go to your scene or wrong scene oh no never mind go to your scene and I'm gonna copy this sphere a couple times All right, so if I hit one of these, it will go below. It will take 15 away. If I hit these, it will give 15. Also, if I get more of these and I'm already at full life, you will see that it doesn't go over 100. And it also won't go below zero. Now, one last thing. In a lot of games, the life regenerates itself. So to do that, add a sensor, controller, and an actuator. Change it to delay. I'm going to put in a delay of 30. Select repeat. Change this to property. Add property name as life. Value of 1. So it will always add a value of 1 to property life with a delay. Because if we put always, it goes up way too fast. Now go back to your scene. P to play. And you will see as I hit these, it takes 15 life away. And then my life slowly regenerates itself by a value of 1 with a delay. So this is going to be the end of this part of the tutorial. I'm sorry it was kind of long, but I hope it helped you. Also, one last quick thing. Just a quick little tip. If you select an object and hit the delete key on your numpad with numlock on, it will automatically zoom into that object and fill it up on the screen. Now, this is very useful instead of panning, rotating, and zooming into the object, which is really annoying. This way it's much easier. Just select the object and hit the delete key on the numpad and it will automatically zoom into it. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope it helps and I will see you in the next one.